Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today we're venturing out to the frosty distant edges of our solar system to talk about a celestial body that has captured our hearts and sparked endless debate. Pluto. So, what's the real story behind this tiny, icy world? Let's dive in. For over 75 years, Pluto was proudly known as the ninth planet from the Sun. Discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh, it was the mysterious, final frontier of our solar system. Schoolchildren memorized its name, and it held a special place in our cosmic family portrait. But then, in the early 2000s, things started to get complicated. Astronomers began discovering other objects in the Kuiper Belt, a vast ring of icy bodies beyond Neptune. Some of these, like Eris, were even more massive than Pluto. This raised a huge question. If Pluto is a planet, shouldn't all these other objects be planets too? The International Astronomical Union, or IAU, had to step in. In 2006, they came up with a new definition for a planet. An object must orbit the sun, be massive enough to be nearly round, and this is the crucial part. It must have cleared its neighborhood of other debris. Pluto checks the first two boxes, but because it shares its orbital space with other Kuiper Belt objects, it failed the third criterion. And just like that, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. Now don't feel too bad for Pluto. This demotion didn't make it any less fascinating. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto, giving us our first ever close-up look. The images were breathtaking. We saw a world far more complex and active than anyone imagined. Pluto has towering mountains of water ice, vast plains of frozen nitrogen, a thin blue atmosphere, and even a giant, heart-shaped glacier on its surface, affectionately named Tombor Regio. It also has a family of five moons, the largest of which, Charon, is so big that Pluto and Charon are often considered a binary system, orbiting a common point in space. This little world is full of surprises and is still teaching us so much about how planetary bodies form and evolve in the coldest reaches of our solar system. So, planet or dwarf planet, one thing is for sure. Pluto is an incredibly cool and captivating world that will continue to inspire us for generations to come. What do you think about Pluto's status? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more space adventures. See you next time.